Hello everyone. In today's video we will be covering case 13 and 14, which is this case. And the oriented version, you can tell when the edge lines up, or with its opposite side. The oriented version, really there's a one decent way to do this, and it's just to break the, break the pair up and make it the easy case. So you would, here's your slot, you'd put this in the back, hide it, separate your top layer, show it, and now you have your easy insertion. So that's all it all it takes to um, do the easy and or the oriented version of this case so you just break it up make it the easy case and then insert it like you normally would right not too bad for the non-oriented version of this case it's a little different story okay so for the non-oriented version of this case there's we know we're going to need a third generation of movement and you can either pair the case up and insert the pair with your third gen. And how I normally do that is I, I put this in the corner slot and then do the exact same move again and that will pair your, your pair up. So you move this out of the way, you lift your slot up, you place your corner in the slot and you lower it and then you do that one more time and that will pair your pair up and then you can insert it however you want, wherever you want. right? The other way to do this is you can lift this slot up and perform a U to break it up. And then when you lower the slot, if you move this here and perform a sledgehammer right like this, it will also pair the, pair the pair up, but it will orient the pair as well, so you can insert it. So this, this really only works if you need to reorient this edge. If you don't need to reorient this edge, then don't do this, even if you have some empty slots available. Just do it like you normally would. So normally what I do, and this works from the back as well, this is why this is the easier one to, to learn, is get this out of, the, out of a slot, pull a slot up and drop it in it, and then do the same thing again. And then it's a pair and then you can insert it wherever you want. So if it's from the back, you want to move it out of the slot, or out of the way, lift the slot up, put it into the slot, and then do the same thing again. And then you have your pair in the back. But if you are, if you remember, if it's in the front, then, then that works as well. And that might be, might be fewer move count, I'm not sure. Like that. So if it's in the front, you can do that. If it's in the back, and then I would just do the, uh, the double move to pair it up and then insert it wherever you want. And really that helps if... If it's sitting right there, but you need to insert it in the back somewhere, then you can you can perform that alg. And I think that's the only ways that I perform insertions on that case. The next case we'll be going over is this case, which is one of my favorite cases. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the uh, comment section below. And until then, happy cubing!